Hey everybody, this is Melvin with Tech Running 24-7. In today's video, we want to show you how to set up Samsung Pay on your Galaxy Watch Ultra. So for demonstration purposes, as you can see, we have our Galaxy Watch Ultra here, and we'll be using our Galaxy S24 Ultra. And so to set up Samsung Pay on your watch, the first thing you need to do is have it already set up on your device. And so Samsung Pay now is loaded under an app called Samsung Wallet. And so like we said, we need to have Samsung Pay or Samsung Wallet already set up on your phone to be able to get it on the watch. And so first thing we need to do to get it on the watch is we're going to swipe up to go to our apps and we want to scroll down until we get to the uh, Samsung Wallet icon. So the Samsung wallet icon is the one that is solid blue there with the uh, picture is supposed to represent a wallet on it. So don't get it confused with uh, Google wallet because Google wallet looks sort, sort of like that. But it's a white icon with multicolor picture on it. And so once you find, t find the uh, Samsung wallet icon, well, let me make this other note real quick. If for some reason it isn't on the watch already, what you would need to do is go over to your phone, locate your wearable app, which is in the Samsung folder a lot of times. So inside my Samsung fo folder, I'm looking for the Samsung wearable app. So once you locate that, go ahead and open the wearable app and then come down to the bottom to where you see store. Go to the store and then do a search for Samsung Wallet and then download it to the watch. Go back to the watch, swipe it from the bottom again and go to the Samsung Wallet icon, uh, which is that solid blue one to the left. So once you get there, tap on it to open it. Once you open it, it says welcome to Samsung Wallet. Hit the arrow. Now it says to set up, we need to set up a lock screen first. And so they set up a lock screen to give you more security on your watch. So hit settings, and then it's going to ask you what type of lock you want to put on there, either a pattern or a pin. We're going to go with a pin, and a pin is generally a four digit number. Then hit set pin, then choose a four digit number. We're going to go with a simple one, 2233. Three. I'm going to hit the bottom uh, check there. Then they said to do it again. Two, two, three, three. Hit the check again. And it has taken your passcode for the watch. And then it said to go to your device. And so we're going to go over to our S24 Ultra. And it says set up Samsung Wallet on your watch. And then it says hit continue. And once you hit continue, because Samsung Wallet is already set up, and like we said, Samsung Pay is inside of Samsung Wallet, it puts you to this menu where you can see you have payment cards, you have membership cards, coupons, boarding passes, gift cards, event tickets, and student ID. And so if you look at the payment cards, what the main thing we want to do for Samsung Wallet is it shows that I have one payment card in there and so if you tap on it it'll show you the card and i'm gonna come back out of there real quick uh one other thing is to say that you can have more than one payment card and so you know you might have about three or four cards you use from time to time and if you have several cards in there you can pick and choose which one you know has the adequate amount of balance to where you want to charge to so again we're gonna hit the payment cards and it says I have a Bank of America card that's already loaded to the phone. And now we want to activate it to go to the watch. So you hit activate. Once you hit activate, it asks you to put in the security code. Once you get the security code in, hit next. And then it's syncing your data. This may take 10 seconds to a minute to do. Once it does that, it puts you to the next screen, which is your term of service. And you can read through that, which is a lot of reading. <laughs> After you do that, hit agree. 
and now it's going to validate your card holder, validate your card through your card holder. And now it says it's done and that the card has been added to the watch. And so you can hit done. The next screen, it just shows the card there. And so what we want to do real quick is set the phone down for a second and then check the watch to see if we see our card. And so to get to the card, we have to swipe up. And of course, since we have a, 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 a lock on it, we have to put our pin in, 2233. Three. And now, quick note too, if you're wearing a watch, you, wouldn't ha you won't have to constantly put the code number in or the pin number in because the uh, sensor on the back of the watch lets, lets it know that you're wearing it. But if it's not on your wrist, you have to constantly put it on. And so we're going to swipe up again to go to our apps. And we're going to go to uh, Samsung Wallet, tap on it. And, of course, you have to put the pin again, 2233. Three. And as you can see, it activated the card. And it's kind of like a pulsation happening there. And it says to hold your car, card or hold your watch near the NFC reader to pay. And so playing like the phone is the NFC reader. You would hold it to it like so to pick it up. And when you're doing that too, you want to hold it near that icon. See how that icon at the top looks like a little a wave? On the card reader, you have that kind of wave there. So hold your watch near the near that. Once it picks it up, it'll put a check on there to let you know it took it and you have uh, paid for your purchase. We're going to come out of that real quick. But the way you would activate it, if it's on your wrist and you after you get it unlocked, is to press the back button. And on the side here, you see you have three buttons. You have the uh, one at the top, which is orange, which is your home button. The one in the middle, which is circular, which is your action button. And the button at the bottom, which is white, which is your uh, back button. And so to activate the uh, watch or activate Samsung Pay or your your payment card, you would just press and hold that in like so. And of course, the watch is on our wrist, so we can hit the 2233. Three. Two, two, three, three. You didn't take it at first. And so when we hold that in, it'll automatically activate Samsung Pay or your card, your payment card. Then again, you can hold it near the reader to pay for your item. Also, to make a note that you can, uh, if we do that to activate the card, I'm going to do that one more time. Two, two, three, three. Put that in right. Anyway, you can, uh, this is how you move it. Swipe into the right or go to the next card that you have added. So if you have two or three cards in there and you don't want to use your Bank of America card, maybe it's a Chase card, you go to that one, or the third one may be Wells Fargo card. And that is the way you get to doing the, uh, getting to your payment card to pay for your item. And like we said, you can swipe to the left or right to get to the particular card that you like or that the particular card that you want to use. So that's about it for our video for today. How to set up Samsung Pay or your Galaxy Watch Ultra. So hopefully we shared something that you can use and something that was beneficial. If so, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the uh, bell icon too so you can be notified of new content as soon as we release it. And again, this is Melvin with Tech Running 24-7, bringing you technology that's on the move. Thanks.